So you have binoculars and now you would like to observe the night sky with these binoculars but still you do not know which objects to observe. Then this video is right for you because in this video I would like to introduce you to 5 objects you can observe with binoculars like these ones in the night sky. So when looking for objects you can observe in the night sky it's very important that you look for objects that are very bright and overall very big in the night sky because those binoculars do not have that much of magnification, therefore it's very important that these, that, that these objects are very bright and very big in the night sky. So now I would like to introduce a few objects you can observe in the night sky. The very first object I would like to introduce is the best in my opinion, which is the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is a very well known and big nebula in the night sky. It is an object that's very easy to observe during winter, because during that season it's very high in the night sky and therefore it's very easy to observe it. It's a very big and bright nebula in the night sky, so you can even observe this nebula with your naked eye, even when there's a bit of light pollution. This object is located in the Orion constellation, so it's a winter constellation. I personally recommend looking at this, ob at this object because it's very big and those binoculars don't have that much of magnification, but still you can get fantastic views on that Orion nebula. So you can even see a few fine structures in that nebula, which is something that is very interesting. Object number two, the Pleiades star cluster. The Pleiades star cluster is a very well-known star cluster in the night sky. So you can see that very amazing blue surrounding this kind of star cluster. And when looking through binoculars, you can even see the nebula surrounding the star cluster. I mean, still you can't see that blue, but still you can see that there is nebula surrounding the star cluster, which is something that looks very, very amazing when looking through binoculars. Furthermore, it's a very easy object that you can even see with your naked eye, so when looking in the night sky, you will quickly realize those stars of the Pleiades star cluster. But when looking through binoculars, like these ones I'm currently using, you will get a better view of the Pleiades star cluster, so you will even see these fine structures. Object number three, the Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is a very, very big galaxy in the night sky. It's actually one of the biggest. So when looking in the night sky, you will see that blurry dot or blurry area night sky, which is the Andromeda galaxy. So it's located in the Andromeda constellation and it's a very big and bright object in the night sky. So we're looking at the object without binoculars or without a telescope, for example, you will even be able to see that blurry area in the night sky. But when looking through binoculars, you're even able to see the spiral arms of the galaxy, which is something I find really amazing. I mean, you have to keep in mind that this galaxy is located a few million light years away from Earth. So it's really amazing what you can observe with just binoculars in night sky. Number four, the North American Nebula. The North American Nebula is a very big object. It's one of the biggest I've mentioned in that kind of video. So it's even that big that perhaps you will not see the entire object in your binoculars because the magnification is too much. So when looking at the North American Nebula, you will see a lot of stars in that field of view there's a lot to see, so especially the entire Milky Way region is very amazing to observe. So during summer season, there are a lot of objects to observe, especially in that kind of in the Milky Way, because there are a lot of stars and a lot of nebulae to photograph. But something that is very important to know for you is that um, there are a few factors that are very important when observing those deep sky objects in the night sky. So first of all, it's very important to observe these objects when there is a new moon. So when there's a full moon in the night sky, it's very bright and it's very hard to see details in those nebula and galaxies in general in those deep sky objects. So definitely try to observe these objects when there's a new moon. Furthermore, it's very important to observe these objects in an area where there is less light pollution. So if you're living in a city, for example, definitely make sure to escape the city light pollution. That's very important because in a city, the night sky is very bright and you're only able to see a few stars. So it's very hard to see deep sky objects in that kind of area, so definitely make sure to escape the city light pollution. I mean, when there's a full moon, the full moon is another object that's very amazing when looking through binoculars, especially if, you, if your binoculars have a lot of magnification. So my, the biggest binocular of mine has a magnification of 20 times, which is enough to see a lot of details on the moon. So the most telescopes are in that range, so definitely the moon is a great target to observe. The last object I would like to introduce is M13. M13 is a star cluster, one of the biggest star clusters in the night sky. It's a very bright object and when looking through binoculars you will definitely see a few details, but that really depends on the diameter of your glasses. So in this case it's definitely important to have a big diameter when it comes to the glasses of your binoculars. So 
My binoculars have a diameter of 80mm, which is definitely enough to see details in that star cluster. So this star cluster is an object um, that looks very amazing uh, through binoculars. So these are the five objects I wanted to introduce to you. So these are all objects that are very bright and very big in night sky, so actually one of the easiest objects to observe in night sky, and therefore you can observe these ob objects with almost all binoculars you have. So just in case you have old binoculars, these objects will definitely be um, visible in your binoculars. So these are easy objects to find and to observe overall. So if you found that quite helpful, I really appreciate a like and a subscription. And just in case you have any questions on binoculars in general, um, definitely feel free to ask me. So just in case you do not have binoculars right now, um, I have already created a video about the binocular I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So in the video that is linked right here, I explain a few details about that kind of binoculars and I would like to show you the binoculars and explain why I think that this is one of the best binoculars to observe the night sky. Otherwise, thank you so so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.